Hi there, in this practical tutorial, we will show you how to create Plotly dashboards by following the official documentation. In our case, we'll work with a different data set so that you can apply the same procedure to your own data. So now we first load the data. To do so, we need to download it from the Kaggle website. We go to this website, look for the Olympics data set and go down to search for the CSV file. We click on download here and then we open the file in the downloads folder. We should have another folder with our project. In my case, I can see it here, Olympic dashboard. And then I need to move from the downloads folders to the folder of the project. And now I reload it and I have it here. So I import the data from the pandas library. I use the function read CSV to read the file. I put the first column as the index because it's the ID and then I save it into a variable. Now every row represents one athlete at one particular Olympic year. I am interested in the columns medal and NOC, which is the abbreviation of each country, to create the data visualization in which I need to get the top 10 countries, the countries who got more gold medals in the history of the Olympic Games. So the first step I need to do is to filter the data by the gold medals. So within the column medal, I can see how many there are of gold, bronze and silver. Now I ask Python how many gold medals we have in the data and I filter it. So I create a mask for gold and then I filter in the data set. And now I have here the athletes who won gold medals. I'm going to save it into a new variable. And then let's count how many gold medals each country won. So I go to NOC and then I ask for value counts to see how many times every country appears in this data frame, which every row represents a gold medal. So I execute the function and now I get a series object. I want a data frame, so I reset the index and then I save it into a new variable. Let's change the names of the columns to be first the country and second the gold medals. And there I have the data better. Now I'd like to filter the data to have just the 10 first rows. So head equals 10. And here I have the countries who were more successful at the Olympic Games. I save this into the variable again, and now I will like to visualize this data. To do so, I'm gonna use the Plotly library. So import Plotly express as px. And then I use a bar plot. They are asking for the data frame at the beginning, the FRS, and then on the X axis, I want the country. And on the Y axis, I want the gold medals. I execute and there I see this nice chart. Maybe I would like to have it horizontal bars. So let's change the Y by the X because it's the other way around. I need to sort the values by the gold medals and save it back into the variable. And now I have a nice visualization where USA is the country who won more gold medals, followed by the U.S., Germany, Great Britain, Italy, etc. So now the big question is, how do I place this data visualization in a simple dashboard website? We look for a tutorial in Plotly Dash website. We'll identify the data and plot objects they are using, and we will substitute their objects with ours, the ones that we have recently created. So I open a new tab 
I look for Python plotly dash tutorial and here I can see many websites and topics. I go to the dash tutorial. In the first part they are talking about the installation. You should follow these steps to install the the library. I have already installed it so I go directly to the part 2 layout and I see this nice script with this nice data visualization. So I can copy this code but I shouldn't type it here because this is a notebook file, it's not a scripting file. Therefore I should work with this type of files in another editor of code. In my case I use Visual Studio and here I should go to the folder of the Olympics in my computer and then I can move this folder to the Visual Studio and then I open this project. Once I am here I should create a new file. I'm gonna call it app.py and then I click on enter. I save it into the same folder and then I paste lines of code that I copied. I save the file and I would like to execute these lines of code to see the dashboard in action. So I'm gonna open the palette prompt. I'm gonna create a new terminal and then I'm going to launch the application by typing python app.py to execute those lines of code. They have opened an address for me to watch the visualization that I have put in the code. And here I can see this nice visualization from this file. To show you how the file is related to this website I can change something here for example I can put resolving Python and then I save it and I can see the change here. So now the big question is how do I change their objects, their data frame and their figure, their bar plot so that it can work with my bar plot and my data frame that I have here. I should copy all of these lines of code and remove these ones. So they use df, I should use my dfres. They use their bar in the variable fig, I should save this bar plot in a variable called fig. And then I'm gonna copy all of this code into the Python script. So the first thing that we do is to import pandas, which is already imported here. We don't need to do it. Now I import my data frame, but I have made some changes to the data frame, like the ones that I see here. So I'm gonna select all of these cells and then I'm gonna put them all of them together. I copy this and then I have it here. So now I'm gonna clean a bit the file and then I will use this sorting as well and the figure. I don't need the figure that they have so I can remove this and then I should check if the Plotly Express is imported. I can see it here so I don't need to do it. And now my data frame is used in this data visualization so I don't need to do any more changes. If I go to the website and I save the file, control S, I can see the figure that I created on my script in the website. How cool was that? Now let me explain to you why is this happening. So I have these libraries from Dash, I import Dash, HTML, DCC, Plotly Express and Pandas. I initialize the Dash objects into a variable called app. Then I load the data and I create the visualization. Within the app instance, I need to define the layout. The, in the layout, I tell Python 
which elements I am going to use in the website. So that's why you see here a header of one, resolving Python, you now see another text here, and then you see the DCC graph for the data visualization. This is a good case because in this component, we can see how the figure is the variable that we created previously with the gold medals. So the dash library is interpreting this variable to be contained in this HTML element in the website. And once that they execute this line of code, app dots run server, the function executes all of the background code to produce this dashboard in the address of the local host. And that is the basic structure of a dashboard using Plotly Dash. You need to create the instance of the Dash objects. You make some data processing later, and then you define how you're going to structure the layout with HTML elements. And once you have that settled, you run the server to have it disposable on the localhost address. We hope that you have understood the process of creating a dashboard by following Plotly's official tutorials. First, you open a Jupyter notebook, then you load your own dataset, you process the data that you want to visualize, and copy-paste the code from Plotly's official tutorial. You adapt the code to your own dataset, and then you have the application ready to be run on your local host and see this awesome dashboard. If you want to learn more tricks on how I use Plotly in my day-to-day, -day, I'll put the links to my social media channels in the description of this video. Take care.